hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the youtube channel i hope you're all doing well welcome to another vlog today is a sunday it's afternoon and i am honestly not in the best of moods because we did not go to church today for reasons beyond my control i know i don't talk a lot about my relationship with god on this channel and i've never vlogged about us going to church or anything like that but my relationship with god is something that i take seriously and i've been trying to get the kids to go to church so that they can also learn for themselves about god because with the way this world is moving i really want them to learn about god to shape their morals especially now that they are still young we as their parents we cannot do much when it comes to teaching them about christ at home because I am not a preacher. We just believe that it is important for them to go and fellowship with other kids and just have that church and Christian culture in them. But today we did not go to church for reasons beyond my control. And that has put me in a really low mood this morning, but I'm trying to snap out of it. I am about to go do my hair because tomorrow is Monday. It's work, work, work i have washed my hair and i've prepped it it's good to go if you've ever wondered what my hair texture is like my hair is text this simply means that after every six months or thereabout i put relaxer in my hair but i usually don't let it stay in my hair for the recommended length of time just so that it can soften the texture and make it easy for me to manage i am not about that uh, nappy hair girl lifestyle so as you can see my hair is quite healthy and it's flourishing i'm about to go to a sewing leave out situation i've been loving that lately because it just not lately i've always loved that style because it works well for me i am not a fan of wigs like that i have mentioned that on this channel before i just don't like the idea of changing looks every other day that's what happens when you wear wigs today you feel like wearing this one tomorrow you feel like wearing a different one i am not a fan of switching looks every day or every other day i just prefer to have a hairstyle for like two weeks three weeks a month if it's braids and after that i change it i have three bundles of these hair attachments which i'm going to use the length is just right i have a longer one but i am going for this shorter one because yeah i just feel like the long hair is a bit too much to take to work so this works perfectly for me at this moment you won't believe how long i've had this hair for i've had this since i was in cameroon i tend to have sentimental attachments to gifts from my loved ones this was bought for me by my husband when i was still in cameroon and i've not really used it that much i think altogether i've used it like four times so it's still very good very very good as you can see quite soft yeah i've made fufu but i'm not going to eat now because i just don't feel like eating yet so maybe when i come back from doing my hair i'll eat but before going to do my hair i want to pass through the shops and get some fruits because again tomorrow is work and i like to take fruits to work for snacking because if i don't do that when i get perkish i'll be tempted to snack on what is available in the office and it is nothing healthy i'm trying to maintain my weight because it's easier for me to maintain the weight than to lose it so i'll pass through the shop and grab some fruits for snacking and then i'll pass through costco and top up my tank ready for the week before i go do my hair i hope you all are doing well um yeah guys i just wanted to start up the vlog let's see how it goes the kids are not at home that's why everywhere is so quiet they went visiting yesterday with their dad and they decided to have a sleepover at one of our relatives my hair appointment is for 1 p.m and it's already quarter past 12 now i'm really hoping that there's no queue at costco today so i can just 
go throw my car i'm not doing any shopping i'm just going to throw my car and then i'll head to my hair appointment i hope you get to enjoy the vlog if you are new here hello you are welcome my name is josie over here i share family and personal lifestyle vlogs i share personal development tips for those of you who want to become better versions of yourself so that we can all become the best versions of ourselves that we can become together it's always chilled good vibes no drama if this sounds like something that interests you kindly consider joining this beautiful community by subscribing for more fun wholesome and relatable content guys i need to get going right now traffic this sunday afternoon i was meant to be at my hairdresser's place at one it's already 10 minutes past one and i'm yet to fill my tank i've been queuing for over 20 minutes that's how bad it is I'm all dressed for work guys this is the next morning I finished doing the hair and I came back home I tried to curl it myself using these bendy rollers I'm not sure how the curls will look with the short hair but I just wanted to try it if it doesn't look nice I can always straighten it or do something else with it the hair is quite flexible so I have so many options I can style it differently if the curls don't work recently I've been trying to take better care of my face let me know if you can notice any difference and I will let you all know exactly what I'm doing it's nothing special though but I'm doing something that I did not used to do before There we go. I don't do makeup to work, not at all. The most I do is my lip gloss. Hmm? I'm not using a mirror by the way, and I'm filming with the back of my camera, so whatever I'm doing here, I'm not seeing it. Yeah. This is decent enough. Let me quickly show you all what I'm wearing. I'm 
I'm wearing black pants, a blazer, and I'm wearing flats. This is what I wear to work every day because they are very comfortable when it comes to driving. And when I get to work, I don't change into heels or anything like that. I try to keep it really simple, really demure, cutesy. <laughs> I keep it simple. Yeah, my office space is not that serious. It's about 7.40 and I need to hit the road. It's a really rainy morning, but rain has got nothing on me. I think something is lacking. I should get a brooch, right? Yeah, I think a brooch, a brooch would do. Let me get a brooch. Give me a second. These curls, I don't know. I'm not feeling the curls that much because they are too, mm, just looking outwards like that. I'm not going to worry about that. There we go. Yeah. I think this is a lot better, right? What do you all think? It's 7.45 now and I need to hit the road. Hello, I hope you can see me and hear me. I'm on my lunch break. I'm having my lunch in my car today. The introvert in me is just trying to avoid a situation where I'll have to explain my lunch to anybody. I've had situations where people have shown interest in what I am eating and I had to go through the pains of explaining to them what I am having for lunch and I am not in the mood to deal with that today so I just took my food to the kitchen heated up and came straight to my car to come have my quiet time and enjoy my food before I go back into work I'm having mixed veggies broccoli cauliflower cucumber carrots onions just a bunch of mixed veggies that I sauteed the other day and I have some fish here I fried it and I mixed it in stew and i have boiled plantains at the bottom of my bowl that's my lunch and the mixed veggies was made with some prawns as well some yummy prawns hmm. i'm done eating i have four minutes before i go inside and i feel heavy this is exactly why I did not used to bring lunch to work because usually after eating, the next thing I want to do is just chill and wind down for the food to digest. I know that after this heavy lunch, when I go inside, I'm going to struggle to keep my eyes open for the rest of the few hours that I have left before I go home. I walk seven hours, 30 minutes every day. I used to prefer to just walk for seven hours, 30 minutes. I would come with fruits and snack while I'm working and use my 30 minute break to drive back home. And then when I get home, I eat. But my manager told me that it is not allowed for me to work for over seven hours without taking any break. For that reason, I had to be bringing lunch to work because yeah, if I work for those lengthy hours without eating anything, by the time I get home, it will be like towards evening and I'm trying to avoid eating late. I still bring fruits to work and I've been snacking on that in the early hours and I've eaten now this will be my one and only meal for the day when I get home I will just maybe have a cup of tea or snack on carrots or any fruits if I get hungry that's how I try to keep the weight in check by minding what I eat and when I eat it I need to go back into the office now. Only have one minute to go. Where's my key? Take that out. I'm going back into work now. I'll see you all later. Today we're going to eat arrow. 
What? A fufu. What? Fufu. Arrow and fufu? Yeah. This is not arrow. What is this called? Arrow. This is arrow? Soup. What is this soup called? I don't know. Okra. Okra? I knew it! You did not know it. You did not know it. It was, I knew it. No, you did not. You just called it arrow. It's, it's, it's okra. Yeah. Oh. Okra soup and fufu. And that's Abigail's dinner. It's about 6 p.m., right? Yeah. 6 p.m. Nobody should come at me for feeding her okra with a spoon. It just works better because of the sliminess. Yeah. I don't want okra running through my fingers while I'm trying to get it to her mouth. How does it taste? Good. Bon appetit. Mercy. Do you remember you used to call this slime soup? Soup? You used to call it slime soup. Slime soup? Yeah, that's what you used to call it. It has tiny things in it. It's turkey, smoked turkey. No, the small things. That's the okra seeds. You mean these small white things? Oh, yeah. It's the okra seed, Abby. Yeah, I just swallowed the aqua sweet and it was so good. You enjoy your food? Yeah, with white little seeds. Bon appetit, madame. <laughs> Turkey night. You're gonna choke if you don't calm down while you're eating. You'll choke. This is Abby's lunch. Mikaya packs her own lunch by herself. your face with that paper all right now let's go did you create that um yeah oh wow you created a baby bear yeah now it's got to my face good job let's go turn around and walk but don't cover your face okay look who is behind you look hello how did you know i was tricking you because it's so obvious hello how was school today? Good. Nice. Keep I like to hear that school was good. Did Let's go. Feed, this way. Did you feed this? What's up, beautiful people? This is two days later. <laughs> and I'm on my lunch break. Today we're having some sun. The temperature is 21 degrees. But I am working, so there's not really much I can do with this sun. I'm just here basking. That's what I do. Every time I'm walking from home and there's a bit of sun when it's my lunch break time. I'm not eating yet because I want to talk to you guys and it is bad manners to talk with food in the mouth. So I prepared myself a cup of tea which I am sipping on while trying to talk to you guys this afternoon. Can you read my t-shirt? It says nope not today. Not today to anything that adds to the normal daily stress that comes with work being a mom running a home and being there for your family and friends anything that adds to that stress i am not doing not today not tomorrow not next week not next month not in the years to come no to all of that anyway that's not why i came here if you are one of those people who watch my vlogs consistently, I'm sure you would have noticed that 
I don't always mention where I get what from. Once in a while, I would mention or show what brand I'm using or wearing if I feel like it or show which shop I went to if I'm vlogging. But for the most part, I just don't. Mostly because I'm not even sure if you all want to know. I know people don't really care like that, especially because I rarely get questions about where I got what from. I've not really had people show a lot of interest in a lot of the things that I use when the brand is not obvious. I'm not trying to get keep. If anybody shows interest in anything that I am wearing, I am more than happy to give that information away. I've even ignored products collaboration requests from so many brands because I'm not sure if you all are going to buy it. If I collect free products to use and show you guys, if I get paid to advertise this product, what's the possibility that you guys are even going to use my link to check out that product or that website? And what's the possibility that you guys are even going to use my code to purchase that product? That's something that always crosses my mind every time I get an email from a brand wanting to send me products in exchange for content or they want to pay me to showcase their brand or sample whatever thing they are selling. I know I'll benefit by getting paid, but what will the product owner get? My engagement is a bit shaky. It just makes me uncomfortable to want to collect products to show you guys. I'm selfless like that. And I know this mindset isn't helping me on this pace as a social media content creator. But unfortunately, it's hard to know what you all like to see me doing or what you don't like. Things I hardly get such comments or questions about where I get certain things from. So I just do what I want to do and put it out there for whoever wants to watch it. All those little, little details. If that's something that you guys are interested in knowing, like where I get anything from, definitely let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to always mention those things whenever I am filming or vlogging. Right guys, I think this video is long enough and I think we can end it here for now. If you enjoyed watching, definitely give us a thumbs up. It does help the channel a lot. And leave your comments in the comments section and I'm always there to read and to respond. Even if it's a comment that does not require a response, you will definitely see that heart there telling you that I have seen your comments and I appreciate it. I need to go now and go get my lunch and get back into work. Thank you so much for watching. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed, stay safe, continue to drink a lot of water and mind the business that pays you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.